how to use the sand in blue for beginners. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you and I'm going to be guiding you guys how to use sand in blue. Welcome to TechPress. My name is Steven, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you really, really fast how we can get started with the actual sand in blue. I'm going to be showing you how to make some actual importing of our context. We can use some templates. I'm going to be showing you take a look into the statistics, uh, creating some email marketing stuff, creating some campaigns. I'm going to be seeing just the introduction of the actual automation and lastly I'm gonna be seeing the actual more apps to add into send in blue so the very first thing you want to do in order to get started is to go into the onboarding blue.com in here what I want to do is to type an email as well as a passcode and then later on I can just create my account after you hit into create your account what it's going to be asking to you is to verify your email as almost anyone that should be adding a new account into send in blue and they're going to be actually ready to get started. As you can see, here's my actual dashboard. We can see the campaigns, the automation, transactional content, and more apps to be done. So the very first thing you want to do is to actually go into your context section or go down in here, it says add your first contact. So what I want to do now is to choose to upload a file or to copy and paste some context from my XLS files. If you want to add this into a new contact differently, you can create a phone, for example. So it's going to be helping you to let your customers make the actual subscription form. So I can go into create a new subscription form and here let's go for new subscribers. So let's go back into context once again, and I'm going to add a new contact first. So I'm going to go for create a content. Uh, so what I want to do is to type the last name of my contact. Let's go for the first name. Go for gal and here is the actual uh, phone number and here is the email that of course I need to add. Here into the list you want to, if you don't have any list you don't have to worry about that, we can add those later. So, uh, then I have the double apt option, hit into yes, yes and hit into, yes, into create. And my contact should be added automatically down in here. So I can just try to reload my page and see if my contact is now added in here. So I have the contact name the subscribe to email SMS, the email, last name, first name, and my SMS. So all the information is going to be added in here. So you can add all your elements, all your customers as you are joining here into the beta mode. So now they have imported your actual context, what I can go is to clicking here into the brand section of send in blue, and I have my actual dashboard. So here into the dashboard, I can see that there's a total context, opens, clicks, and block list. So if I want to get started with some email campaigns, I want to choose the option that says email down here. And I have an email campaign so I can go and look out for create an email account. So here my email campaign, let's say this is a welcome. And now I have the actual form to subject and design. So here I want to tap the add from. This is my email, the name of my company. This is how it's going to be looking and hit into saved. Then we have the two, you want to add the recipient. This is the reason why we first of all added our actual context and of creating a list. So send to, let's go for starters, where I have two customers already able here, we hit into save. And the subject, let's go for something related to the name of your campaign. So let's say for example, welcome aboard or whatever. So I'm gonna go here, preview the text that appears down in here. So let's go and type something for congrats here is your reward something like that and here I'm going to type it to saved and now we do have the design of our email so we do have all of these elements that we can choose that are of course from default you can choose a template gallery if you wanted to um, there's a few categories that you can choose there are special offers so let's say that I kind of interested into this one I'm gonna go for use this template and now it's going to be popping up the template editor. So here in the template editor, I have the contact, say blocks, and the design. So if you go into content, you want to just drag and drop the elements that you think is needs to be added into my actual mail. So for example, let's say that this one has this element and I want to add some social stuff instead of just having this down in here. So I can go into the upper side, I can go into socials, and I'm just going to be drag and drop like this and my elements should be just imported right away. So I can just click here once again. I have the design version. I can set up my brand 
and they're actually good to go now lastly I just need to go into set up my brand so I can edit this automatically once you set it up your brand if you clicked it here all the elements that you added into your actual brand it should be added automatically into your own end template so if you want to add your own uh, website you can do this or you can set up your brand manually whatever you want to I'm gonna add my own logo I'm gonna hit now into save my changes to once I think this one has going to be successfully done add it and my brand is all set. So if I go back into continue editing, take a look into how the template just took the actual elements that I have just added and it's gonna appear it down in here. So if I click here, it says edit the brand in library, I have the logo settings, I have the block settings and I can just go on and on here. So if you don't want to see that, you can delete it and there you go. So let's say that uh, I'm not going to be focusing a lot into the actual element and all the content of my email campaign. I'm just going to be focusing into publishing this. So I'm going to go now into saved and quit. And now here I have some advanced settings. So lastly, what I just need to do is to preview and test this or hit into schedule in order to send this actual stuff. Now, lastly, guys, what you can do is to go into your dashboard so you can track all the stuff that you have just created into your actual elements of your scent in blue. Now, lastly, guys, what I can truly suggest to you, if you still need some kind of help here, let's go into the statistics down in here, down below from templates. And here, what you can do is to track your campaigns that you have just created from one day into another one. Here, I have the calendar, and I can create my custom calendar. Let's say, for example, from Friday of the last week and from Friday of today. I'm going to go for like this, and here to show statistics. And here's going to be appearing all my total sends, the receipts, how many people opened that, how many clicked the, how many unsubscribed, how many replied and so on and on and on. And lastly, if you want to add more stuff into your send in blue, you can go for add more apps into the upper side. And then here I have the app center. Here I can install more applications as I am growing here. I can import that. I have the conversations, I have the Facebook ads. I can go here, I can go for WhatsApp campaigns if I want to connect with my customers. So uh, that totally depends on what, asked, what is the actual plan that you're actually using. In our case, we're using a free version. So you want to go into the send in blue section and you can take it out how much you need to get started. So as you can see, this plan needs to, in my case, we only have a free version and the free version has uh, 300 emails per day. We have customizable email templates. We can drag and drop transactional emails and SMS and WhatsApp campaigns only. If you need a little bit more than that, you can choose the starter plan. But as you can see, it's a little bit high enough. So that totally depends on what kind of elements you want to do to get started here into the sender in blue. But with that being said, I think that you're now ready to get started into Send in Blue and to send your very first email campaign to the customers that you are that you have already inside your actual subscription list. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great stuff about the Send in Blue, the email marketing campaigns, and so on and on. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you next time.